Good morning, folks. This is the St. Venus as taken by Francis Walsh at the Cosmic Obsession Observatory. The transit is tomorrow. Let's get to the news. As I speak, you are running out of time to see the lunar eclipse. It's happening this morning. You have until just before sunrise. Stop the presses. 14 months after Fukushima, we have decided that our energy plants are vulnerable to nature. Good job. It comes to this, one ruling group to fix our problems or we collapse on our own. Which one do you think is worse? And this should really make you mad. EPA arsenic levels are not safe for pregnant women or their babies. A downpour in Beijing, China was said to be so bad it turned day into night yesterday. Major quake news, two six-pointers hit three hours apart off the southern coast of Panama. On the fault line, an ocean spreading rift that connects to the Pacific Ridge. You can clearly see two global ringers here on list. It appears that both of those quakes shook the entire planet. Large quake also here on the South Sandwich Islands. Very odd to have a five-pointer hit Algeria. And last, this moderate quake is slightly out of place here. There was a geomagnetic storm last night, many space weather events, let's break it all down. First, look at the orange, the solar wind density. On the first half of the chart, it spikes a bit. We are going to watch that impact here, but when I speed it up, you will notice that first, the red streamers go back away from Earth. Now that impact clearly created significant magnetic disturbance along with strong baseline, uh, baseline resonance inducted. In the hours that follow, the red lines become loops behind the Earth, and that is a magnetic reconnection. It's what causes the auroras and energy induction. You can see the charged particles pounding us last night. The next events, on the bottom left, you should see changing colors around that bright region. We had a minor CME. Moments later, during the magnetic storm, a powerful M3 blast let out a CME as well. Looking at it from multiple wavelengths, we are just lucky that the Earth footprint jumped away from that momentarily. If either of those CMEs strike Earth, it will be after the solar wind speed from uh, this coronal hole right here. The stream is already on its way, and as you can see, there is still some of that coronal hole left of center will still be blasting at us tomorrow. The very early beginnings may be striking now, actually. Both the density and the speed are rising. Density usually rises at the beginning of coronal hole streams. The particle bombardment on Ovation Prime is rising as well. We could have more blasts. These regions down here have the complexity, and these ones up here did prove themselves yesterday. Folks, lastly, the quake watches that began May were total duds. But since the Jupiter conjunction middle of the month, activity has been on the rise. With the Venus transit tomorrow, significant space weather, and a general rise in seismicity over the weekend, let's watch for a big one. Solar watch is on as well. That's the news, folks. Be safe.